I would love to uh, talk quickly about um, who is bringing, who is making this uh, webinar available to you. So thank you so much to the Academy de Vin Library for being our partner in presenting these uh, free webinars uh, for Napa Valley Wine Academy. Uh, it's greatly appreciated and we love our collaboration. So without further ado, I would love to uh, bring onto screen with me here, um, Peter Marks, Master of Wine, who will be introducing uh, Aileen uh, McCoy uh, today. So welcome, Peter. Thank you, Christian. Good morning. And good, good morning, morning. Aileen. How are you? Uh, good morning, Peter. I'm fine. How are you? Uh, doing great. It's a beautiful day here in the Napa Valley. Right? And I know you're based on the East Coast. Um, how, how are things back there in Connecticut? Well, we just have rain and then more rain and then more rain. And in actual fact, it would be great if we could say bottle some of that rain and send it to places on the West Coast that would be very happy to have at least half of what we've had in the past week and a half. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, yeah, we, fortunately, we've had nice mild weather here, so it hasn't been too much stress in the vineyard. But uh, rain is definitely something we're lacking uh, this year. Hey, before we get started, uh, let me do a quick introduction. I, I'm sure many people know you. Uh, we may have some new folks who may not be familiar with you because we do broadcast this around the world. So for those of you who do not know Aileen McCoy, uh, she is an award-winning journalist and author. She focuses on the world of wine. Uh, she is a wine and spirits columnist for Bloomberg News, and she writes for their uh, Newswire. She's also a, a columnist for Decanter Magazine. Uh, she penned one of the best books I've ever read, which is The Emperor of Wine, The Rise of Robert Parker Jr. and the Reign of American Taste. And that book garnered international praise and has appeared in five foreign editions. In addition to that, she's a co-author of Thinking About Wine and a contributor to the wonderful On Bordeaux book, which is what we're going to be focusing on today in our topic. In addition to that, Aileen has helped author a new book, which is coming out from the Academy of Devan Library later this year in September called On California. And then when she's not traveling or writing, she lives in Connecticut with her husband, who is a writer and also an artist, and that her husband is John Frederick Walker. So welcome, Aileen. So glad to have you here today. Uh, we're really looking forward to her hearing you talk about our topic, which is Bordeaux, left and right bank. I mean, these are two iconic parts of the Bordeaux Appalachian. And, um, you know, I'd, before we get into that, I'd just like to know, how did you initially get interested in wine? Well, I was lucky enough to grow up in a house where my parents did drink wine, although it was pretty much uh, for special occasions. Uh, mm -hmm. But the first time I ever really thought, wow, this is interesting, was going out to dinner with my dad all by myself when I was 14 and he ordered a bottle of Puy Fuisse. I felt very, very privileged to actually learn how to pronounce it, um, and, which many people could not. And my dad told the waiter, uh, would it be, you know, just leave the bottle, I'll, I'll pour her a little taste. You don't, because of course, the waiter couldn't pour me a taste, uh, being so underage. And when I tasted it, I felt so grown up. I, I just thought, this is what grown ups do. They drink wine and they pay attention to what it tastes and smells like. And this is really fun. So that was the spark. Later, when I lived on the West Coast, um, I, I really got into it. Well, that's great. Um, now let's talk about this uh, the book, the On Bordeaux book, which you contributed to. Um, and you, in this book, you titled a chapter called Left Bank versus Right Bank. Um, when did you first visit Bordeaux? I first visited Bordeaux in the 1980s, about the mid 1980s. And it was a very, very different place from what it's like now. 